the Joe Rogan experience. Don't be scared, homie.com. Shout out to Nate Diaz, victorious. Man. Shout out to Anthony Pettis, yep. a gladiator. It was a good fight. It was a great fight. I totally agree with the outcome. Yes. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Nate, Nate won that fight for sure. Nate, I, I, I was I was superstar. complimented when I walked into Dana's green room and was told I smelled like I just came from Nate Diaz's camp. <laughs> you see the video of him in the open workout? Yes, it was amazing. I, I, I love that, man. Thank God for that guy. The fuck's given is like yeah. at an all-time low. All-time low. Thank God for that guy. He's so important. Just be you. Yeah. Love that guy. That's what he's doing. I mean, he and he's fighting for the baddest motherfucker. That was at 170, belt. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, fuck cutting weight. He doesn't need to cut weight. But I, I love when he's talking about fighting for the baddest motherfucker in the game belt. <laughs> oh, my so that's the belt, belt he's referring against. to. Okay. Because yes. well, I was said, like, this was for a belt? It no, was only no, three no. rounds. I was like, wait a minute. I'm co so confused. I was thinking about I was so I was a little high and drunk myself. No, I was thinking about trying to get him to explain that to people, but I was like, well, I'm going to just let him go. I don't I don't even want to get in the way of this. I'm glad I know now what yeah. belt he's talking about. Yeah, he's talked about it multiple times. That's a then. great fight he called but out, But he though. said that. He said, defend this belt. And I was like, oh, okay. He's talking about the baddest motherfucker in the game belt. And I thought he was going to say it, but... I, I probably should have asked him what belt it was. No, it's more beautiful <laughs> like that. There's like this. It, no, it's perfect. It's Wait, like an Easter the egg. Dude. The, I mean, what a great name. The baddest motherfucker in the game belt. <laughs> we should be so happy that guy's a real thing. We should be so happy. And that fight, it would be amazing. Yeah, man. That would be incredible. Masvidal's a straight up murderer. He's a straight up murderer. So is Nate. That would be chaos. It'll be chaos. If then those two guys want to do it, those are two, I mean, just wild dogs going at it. Those guys are both like to the core. They're 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 fighters to the core. There's no quit in either one of those guys. I mean, that's a wild fight, man. Especially right now, like financially, that's an amazing fight right now. People would pay a lot of money to see that fight. Maz Vidal and Nate Diaz, they're those are two guys that are like the most exciting and most talked about guys in the sport right now. If those guys decided to fucking smash horns, woo! God. It looked like they were more than willing. <clears throat> yeah, I hope they make that. I that would be that would be an amazing fight. I hope they make that happen. That'll be goddamn bananas. And maybe one of them will come out to jump around. <laughs> if they pick something <laughs> shitty enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, at their level, I think they get to pick their own music. Uh, as long as they don't have, like... Yeah, but we're talking about... Wait, wait. But Leo, Leoto Machida. Yeah. Like, why? I want to know the story behind that. One day, I'm going to corner Dana when we're like, you know, when mm. this, when he's not the fucking busiest dude on earth. Yeah. And and be like, what the fuck, What dude? happened there? What song did he pick <laughs> that you Which were mad? Was that? Which Leoto fight was that? I don't know, man. I'm sure somebody knows. But I wonder if he won. Because that would be interesting to see if um, I think. This. Fucked with his vibe. I'm not sure. I think he did. Because I keep track of shit like that. Because it's fucking, I hate it almost when somebody, because mm. one of my favorite guys, um, uh, I'm, oh my God, uh, 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 the beard, uh, 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 super duper friends with Tate. Uh, Keith Jardine. Thank you. The, the, mean, the, the dean of mean. Dean of mean. Keith, Keith Jardine. Wyman. He came out to my version of, of fucking uh, Folsom Prison, and oh. I was so jacked about it. And he lost that fight, and I felt like f it made me feel horrible. Like, oh man, my song. <laughs> oh, this is Chris Weidman when he fought Leoto Machida. Oh, that's yeah, when it was. was that's when Leoto. See, he put the kibosh on Leoto. Oh, so he, yeah, he let see, yeah. see. I took, look, man, I didn't ask for that. <laughs> I didn't fucking ask for that, dude. <laughs> I don't need that pressure. That wasn't gonna save. Don't him. pick my shit. A song wasn't gonna save him. You know what I mean? That's one of those weird ones. It's like, what is? How bad is the song that you you won't let a person pick their own song? That's what I, I mean, want to know. It's not that much time. I mean, it's only like a, the walk to the octagon is not a full song. It's not like three minutes. But, but all so those offensive. Brazilian guys always come out to that. Eh, 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 you know what I mean? Like fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they come out to the fucking wildest music, some of those well, dudes. Uh, not the JJ Axe Murderer used to come out to some oh, real yeah. questionable fucking <laughs> like Dutch disco house. <laughs> he did it! He did! He did! He came out to like raw techno. <laughs> you crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Dutch disco. Swedish house, house mafia. <laughs> <laughs> some shit like that. Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> crazy. 
that's exactly what he's coming out to. Like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like yeah. overtly, like over the top too. The number Sand one worst storm. Number one worst walkout song. Is number one. <laughs> I said not the number one worst work. <laughs> My favorite was when Randy Couture came out to Ted Nugent's Stranglehold. I was like, if there is ever a song that's like design, like that, that seems like a fight. That's a fight playing song. You know, like you're about to have a fight. That's the song you want playing. Stranglehold. Michael Chiesa uses that too. A couple guys use Stranglehold now. That's a song like Stranglehold. And it's it's one of those songs. Anything by ACDC. Oh yeah, <laughs> thunderstruck. Come out to a fight, cool. Yeah, yeah. Just that gets Angus's tone on the guitar. It's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got anger. Yeah, right. You got some nice. I'm on the highway to hell. <laughs> Rich Franklin used to come out to thunderstruck when he was the middleweight champion. Yep. Thunderstruck. <laughs> 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 Is that the song he came out to? I know he definitely came out to an ACDC song. Now I think it is. It feels like right. Questioning. Like that was right. big like right then too. Yeah. ACDC is like one of those bands where you hear like three or four chords. You're like, ACDC. Mm. Like instantly. Like for well, sure. Angus Young, again, yeah. his guitar tone. Yeah. And just The song was called For Those About to Rock. Oh, he came out That's to For Those to? About mm-hmm. to Rock. But didn't he come out to uh, Thunderstruck too? I think when he fought Anderson Silva, <laughs> he came out to Thunderstruck. Yeah, UFC 126, he did the, for those about... Which uh, fight was that? Who was he fighting? I think for sure he came out to Thunderstruck. At Google least is your friend. But he was a, he was a ACDC Griffin. dude. Oh, when he fought Forrest Griffin. He was an ACDC dude. <laughs>